In this video, we'll cover how to add an Epson printer to Production Manager 19. Epson printers require a little bit bigger driver that's not natively included in the Flexi 19 download to save on download space. To get started, you'll want to go ahead and open Production Manager, as I already have open here, and you'll want to click your Add a Device button. This Add Setup window will automatically open up if you don't already have a device set up in Production Manager. So you'll want to select printers from the list and you'll want to select Epson, the manufacturer of your printer and the model of your printer. In this case, we're going to be setting up a SureColor P800. Upon clicking next, you'll get a prompt to download additional files to install the printer. It takes you to an SAI website. To do that, all you need to do is click this link in the prompt. Your default web browser will open and in most cases will immediately start downloading the files. The file download speed will vary with your internet connection. Now that our download is complete, we need to extract the files from the zipped folder. To do that, we'll first need to open our Windows File Explorer to extract the files. For Google Chrome users, there's a Chevron button to the right side of the download. If you click that, you can select Show in Folder to open your Windows File Explorer directly in your downloads folder. This may vary based on preferences that you have in your browser. Wherever your downloads usually go is where you'll find this file. To extract the files, we just need to right click on the zip folder and select extract all. Keep in mind that if you're using a program like WinZip that manages zipped folders for you, the steps will be a little bit different here and you'll just need to follow the steps for that particular application. Now we'll go ahead and extract the files. and the new extracted folder will open. At this point, we'll need to close Production Manager. And we can run this updater by simply just double clicking on it. When the updater starts, it will ask you to choose a language. In this case, we're going with English. And it will ask you what folder you would like the updater to install the Epson files to. Now it's important here to make sure that you select the right folder for your particular install so that the Epson files get installed in the proper location. If you aren't sure which folder your Flexi 19 is installed in, you can go to your desktop, right click on your Flexi 19 shortcut and select open file location and you will see the folder that you need to install it in just behind the program folder. So in this case we're SAI Production Suite Cloud 1 that is the file path that automatically pulled, so we're good to go there. We'll just go ahead and click Next. This is just letting us know what the updater is going to install, so we just go ahead and click Install. And you can go ahead and click Finish to finish the setup. When that's done, you can go ahead and open Production Manager again. And if you haven't added a setup yet, this will automatically pop up. If you have already added a setup, you will need to click this Add a Device button right here. Select Printers. Find Epson in the list. And then find the model of your printer. In this case, it's a SureColor P800. Click Next. Now you'll be asked to put in the IP address of the printer. You can usually get that off of the interface of the printer and the network settings. Some printers will actually broadcast their IP address on your network. To find that, you'll just simply click this Find Device button here. Check Show All Devices and press Update. In this particular case though, our printer does not broadcast its IP address, so we'll have to put it in manually. I've gotten that off of the interface on the printer. And we'll click OK, and then we will test our connection. We've got check connection success. If you get an alert that asks you to ask your network administrator to set up TCP IP, you will need to double check your IP address or get help from a, from a network engineer to get your printer connected. So we can click OK and finish. 
and now we're ready to print on our Epson printer.